Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now I was going to make this just a random colour texture node tutorial, but it's going to be very easy and I thought we might as well expand on it. And I'll show you how to use a random colour with something like an RGB image. So we end up with something like this, where the image has been projected on an instance and it's, it's pretty much random to be honest. Now, just as a quick working example, I'll show you what the random colour texture node does. I'm going to disconnect this here and I'm just going to plug it straight into the albedo of the material. So something like this. So as you can see, it works in that 0 to 1 value, a grayscale value essentially. So what we can do is we can drop down a gradient texture and we can colour our instances. Now when it comes to instancing, I'm not using Blender Scatter at the moment, I'm just using the good old particle system here. And I've just basically replicated this cube. So that is pretty much the random colour texture node. Of course you can change the seed. When you're using a gradient map, you can kind of squeeze these values and stuff like this. It's a very good way to give instances random colour. It breaks the scene up a little bit. But what if you want to take this a step further? What if you want to use it with something like an RGB image, for example? So this is where Chao Pepe, Pepe, absolute legend, has basically wrote an OSL script. And this lets you use it on projection of something like an RGB image. So I'll show you how to work this, I'll show you how to set the script up and stuff like this. But what we can do here is we can take the random texture, we can plug it into the OSL feed, and then we can plug this back into the albedo. And this will essentially project the image using the UV transformation or random UVs. So you can obviously change things like the offset, uh, scale factor, stuff like this. Perfectly fine. So I'll leave the link in the description for this script. Now, when it comes to OSL scripts in Blender Octane, or even Blender just in general, there's absolutely thousands. So if you quickly jump over to this page here, you can see the script, you can just quickly grab it. And I'll show you how to set this up. So we'll delete this, and what I'll do here is, is I'll search for an OSL. And we're looking for an OSL projection node. Now, when I use external, it won't compile for some reason. So what I need to do is I need to open up the file in something like Notepad, for example. And then what I need to do is I need to come to Scripting. Mm -hmm. I go to Text, I go to New, and I copy and paste the OSL shader script here. Now, you probably should rename this just to keep things nice and tidy. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll quickly jump back into Layout. I'll try to rename Layout there. And what I can do here is I can use the internal script which is the text, and then I can compile the OSL shader. And this will give me all these options. So I can take the random color texture, I can plug it into the value here. I can then put the projection into something like an RGB image. Could be procedural, could be whatever, whatever uses a projection node. And essentially how this works is it projects using the random color and we can change things like the offset. And this is perfect if you're doing something like a big city and you want the buildings to be different colors or whatever. Use it at your discretion. But that is pretty much the random colour texture node that is very easy to use in all honesty. And any questions you know what to do. Take care.